Welcome to section 31 of my jewelry design course in ZBrush. So for this particular section, I was asked by a student on the course how you could create these kind of pushing emblems uh, into a ring. So maybe cast different metal and solder to the actual gold ring as it is here. Um, he's asked specific requests like how can we work from an alpha and he supplied an alpha for me um, and I talk about uh, the potential problems of using the alpha that he supplied um, with the amount of detail and the size. I'll just show you that alpha now. So here is the alpha that was supplied and you can see it's really thin even at this massive size. So if this was scaled down to like six, seven millimeters, uh, this is gonna be virtually impossible to cast or print. So the first process that I had to do was actually to take this and thicken it up. So I'll show you the thickened up version of this now and here is my thickened up version you can see it's significantly thicker even at the smaller size and from this i actually decided to use this same artwork to create the block that it actually sits on as well so this was all thickened up easily in photoshop and i show you the methods for you for doing that as well as showing you some of the advantages of using programs like illustrator which works in vectors which means you can work at any size you can blow it up to one mile big and you would maintain the quality over a photoshop file which gives pixelated details at closer inspection let me show you the actual lozenge that i've done in photoshop behind this so here is the lozenge that was created from that original one so I'll just jump into the ring now. I'm actually going to just show you a quick image of the final thing and what we're trying to achieve here. So this is the final result. We've got a simple ring. Um, I wasn't going to put anything on the ring. I just wanted to focus all the attention on this stamp. As you can see here, we have this single block lozenge here, and then we have the detail raised on the top in a kind of smoothed manner. I've also got location beads in various locations so that when the two are cast, they will register up and give good adhesion points for the metals to be soldered together. So this is what we're doing. I'll just jump in and show you the ring now. Okay guys, here is the ring inside ZBrush, as you can see. And if I turn this off, you're gonna see that I have my location points in there. If I jump to this one, you'll also see that they're registered up at the back. Okay, so these are ready for print. I've also maintained their poly groups as well. So, quite a different section. I was going to do this as a workshop, but decided to turn it into one long lecture for this section. So this is section 31 of my ZBrush jewelry design course. 